Hey guys, welcome to my universe. So currently I am in a quarantine in Beijing. Um, it's been around 14 to 15 days since I got here and I have around six to seven days more um, left of quarantine just in this hotel. Now I know a lot of international and foreign students are wanting to come back to China so bad. We miss all the campus life, we miss all the food, we miss all our friends and lectures but China is only granting valid visa for only a certain countries at the moment and luckily I happened to hold a Korean passport so I was able to return to China. So for myself um, the journey from me coming to China from Korea was not easy at all. It was much more complicated than before and there were so many extra procedures and steps that I needed to go through before boarding and also there were so many process that I also needed to take at the airport. So in today's video I will tell you guys um, all the procedures that you need to take before coming to China in three big steps. Now I know a lot of international students are not able to come back to China at the moment but this video is for the students who are wanting to come back to China um, after some rest visa restrictions are lifted. Now these procedures are totally based on the Korean situation right now and I believe that all different measures would be taken for each country. So this video is just a reference for you guys to get an idea of what kind of procedures and what kind of steps you need to take before coming to China. I miss all my international foreign friends from all different countries um, and I wish all of you guys could safely come back hopefully by the end of this year 2021 so let's get started so here are the big three steps that you need to do before boarding to China and make sure you do this by order firstly you need to apply for the right visa and secondly you need to get tested for COVID-19 and thirdly, you need to issue a health declaration QR code using the both documents above. So our first step, applying for the right visa. In my case, I needed the X1 visa, which is the most typical student visa you need to go to study in China. And to apply for the X1 visa, I needed firstly the passport that has a validity period of at least six months left and then my visa application form to study in China which is also called the JW202 or 201 and also the certificate of enrollment provided by the school in advance. Once you provide all the three documents to the visa center at your own country and you receive a visa that looks something like this, you are ready to go to our second step. Our second step is to test for the COVID-19. In Korea, we were required to take the COVID-19 test two days prior to our boarding date. We needed to take two tests in total, which were the PCR nasal swab test and the serum GM antigen test. The hospital provided me the test results, which is marked negative with both test results in one piece of paper that looked like this. Oh, and one important thing is that I was only allowed to take the tests from the facilities designated by the Chinese embassy in Korea. And as you can see on the screen, there were a list of hospitals that I could go to on the website of Chinese embassy in Korea. And I guess for other countries, you talk to your Chinese embassy at your own country for which facilities you need to visit for the tests. We are finally at the last stage. Once you have all the visa and the test results from step one and two, now it's time for you to issue a health declaration code. If you scan this QR code with WeChat, it will pop up with a screen like this where you have to fill in all the information about yourself and some COVID related questions. You also need to upload a photo of your valid visa and COVID-19 test results. After you submit all the form and you wait some time, it will give you a green QR code that looks like this. And this is the HD C code that you want to show when you get to the airport. I suggest you do this at least 10 hours before your boarding schedule as it might take some time for the QR code to be issued. And once you're done with all these three big steps, you are ready to go. So that seems to be all for today. I'll come back with another vlog post of me coming to Beijing Capital Airport from the Incheon Airport. There were also some procedures at the Beijing Capital Airport that you needed to take um, until you come to this quarantine hotel. I hope this video gave you guys a brief idea about um, what kind of procedures and steps you needed to take before coming to China. And Happy New Year everybody! Hope you guys enjoyed and see you again!